Now I want to talk about chanceification. Wiring your organization for probability. To do this, we're going to go back to the uh, capacity model. And I'm going to go out to the probability power grid and pull off the uh, uncertainty in demand as stochastic data. So here I am back in the model. I put the cursor there uh, in, the, in the uncertain cell. And now I'm going to go off to the probability power grid. So here we are at the uh, probability power grid. Now I mentioned that was a, a tutorial uh, problem in the chance calc tutorial. And we have a bunch of uh, stochastic uh, libraries here, SIP libraries we call them, for the various uh, exercises in that tutorial. But we're going to grab the first one product demand. And what I do is I right click, I copy the link to the data, and here I am back in the model. Now I invoke chance calc. So chance calc is this wonderful open source add-in. It is going to automatically create that data table. It's going to process the stochastic uh, data in this cell. And so I click on the uh, SIP input button and I say clipboard, you will find the product demand uncertainty on the clipboard. And I click product demand and OK. And as we say around here, you're not in Kansas anymore. I can look at trial one trial two, trial three. Uh, I remember that trial nine, remember it's just data, oh, trial nine was really bad. Oh yeah, we lost 325,000 bucks. You know, you, you didn't tell the boss that when you said to expect a million, right? No, probably not. Um, I can also put the average in, and now we've got 100,000. Uh, so we can now find out not what this is the profit of the average demand but what is the average profit i go down there i click on the average button i click here i click okay and now what we're doing is we're averaging over a thousand parallel universes six hundred thousand dollars that's what you would expect if you did this over and over for different products that is not the same as expecting a million dollars. Let me open up this cell a little bit so you can see the, the distribution of profit in here. Remember, this is a native Excel model. You can send this to a billion of your closest friends. It's using the data table in Excel to do this. So why is there a big spike here? Well, if your uh, demand exceeds your capacity, you're stuck with a million bucks. So you might say to yourself, maybe we should increase our capacity to take advantage of that upside in demand. Sure, let's try it. And, and what are we measuring it against? Well, we're currently making 601,000 on average. Um, again, not close enough for government work uh, to a million bucks. OK, let's increase this to 120,000 now. That's going to be our, our new capacity. And uh-oh. <laughs> It dropped in half almost, worse than half. Okay, let's undo that. How about if we did 80,000? Now, the obvious question is like, is there a right amount for our capacity? That was up to 679, so that's better at least. Okay, so now how do we look at this in a rational way in the face of uncertainty?